Hey guys, before we start this video, we're gonna talk about Dragon Shield. You guys already know Dragon Shield. They have the Japanese size dual mat sleeves, which you guys can pick up in a bunch of different colors. I actually really like the dual mat sleeves just because of the fact that they have that nice finish on the back where the card doesn't bleed through with the back of like the Vanguard logo. So you don't have to worry about that. The biggest thing I like about Dragon Shield is their outer sleeves. I'm kind of a Dragon Shield outer sleeve convert. I just really like the way that they feel when you shuffle them. I like them a lot better than the Bushiroad brand, honestly. If you're looking to get some really good outer sleeves to protect your nice character sleeves on your Vanguard decks, I honestly really recommend Dragon Shield. You guys should check them out. So you can pick up your outer sleeves at dragonshield.com. You can also use code NEXUS5 to get 5% off and get a nice little discount. So thank you to Dragon Shield for sponsoring this video and let's just jump right into the video. Hey everybody, welcome back to another deck profile and today we're doing Minerva. So real quick, we're just gonna jump right into the ride line. Got our traditional Genesis ride line here. It's just our Vivid Rabbit, Melissa, Chamomile, and Minerva. So the whole goal here is to uh, ride the whole, you know, Genesis ride so that you're filling up your soul by looking at the top five between Melissa and Chamomile. And then Minerva is our main boss unit, you know, using up all that soul for the Soul Blast 3 restand. So that's it for the ride line going into the main deck. Starting off with grade threes, we got three extra copies of Minerva, which is our main uh, ride grade three, which is at the end of the battle that attacked, you soul blast three, kind of blast one, discard a Genesis unit, and it restands to drive minus one. Also lets you soul blast one to look at the top card of your deck to either leave it on top or put it into your soul. So it's also helpful for fueling the soul and checking to see what's coming up for drive tracks. Then for grade threes, or lastly for grade threes, actually we have Four more copies of Angelica. Uh, at the end of the battle that attacked, uh, if you have a Vanguard of Minerva, you soul blast one, put this into soul, counter charge one, and choose your Vanguard and it gets 5K. So it's counter charge, helps you get a grade three in the soul, and uh, you know, giving extra power is nice. It's also nice about Minerva is if you have a grade three in the soul for Gallia in its name, your front row gets 5K. So a free 5K of the front row is always really nice. So that's it for grade threes. Going on to grade twos. We're starting with four copies of Thassis, which is the promo we got for Genesis. So what this does is at the end of the battle that it attacked, you can Soul Blast one. If you have Vanguard of Minerva's name, you retire this, choose a card from drop or hand, put it in your soul. And if you pick a card from hand, you draw a card. And then when it's placed on rear, if you have Vanguard with Genesis in its clan, you can look at the top three, pick up the one card, put it in the soul and the rest go to bottom. So being able to for free, play a card, fill your soul, and kind of thin out your deck is really helpful. Uh, and also just being able to, you know, put certain targets back in your to, to your soul from the drop zone is also nice. Then we got four copies of Spiral Cutie Angel. This card is insanely good um, because it helps you with early game draw, uh, soul blasting out certain targets, and the Persona Ride effect. So when you discard it during the ride phase, uh, you can put this at the bottom of your deck, Soul Blast 1, and draw a card. Second effect is when it's placed on rear, if you Persona Road this turn, you can Counterblast 1, look at the top two cards, add one to your hand, and then put the rest on the top or bottom of your deck in any order. So this is just a really good deck manipulator card, early game, draw, and you can Soul Blast Chamomile or Melissa early just to get those effects off, which is nice. And then speaking of Chamomile, we are running three more copies of it in our main deck. So what it does is, when it's soul blasted, if you have a Vanguard with Minerva in sustain, you can counter blast one, call it to rear after it's been soul blasted. So this is a really good target for Thassus to put back into the soul for multi-attacking because you soul blast during the battle phase, call this back out, that's another attack, kind of going from there. So Minerva is kind of like you want at least four to five attacks, sometimes six if you're lucky, uh, attacks per turn. So that is it for the grade twos. Now we're going on to grade ones. This is one of the newer cards we got from set 11. Uh, what it does is when it's placed on rear, other than during the battle phase, if you have Vanguard with Genesis and its clan, counter blast, soul blast, draw a card, then choose a card from your hand, reveal it, call it to rear. And it just has to be grade less than or equal to your Vanguard. So that's pretty easy to do. And then at the end of the battle that this boosted, if you have a Vanguard with Genesis in its clan, you put two cards in the same column as this unit into your soul and you choose a card from your drop and you put it into your hand. So this can help you reuse Persona Ride if you wanna put another Minerva into your hand or also if you need specific key cards, another copy of Angelica, you can have add that to your hand as well, but it has to be specifically a Genesis card. 
So there's that for recycling your hand, which is nice. Then we got three copies of Cider, which is a Genesis card and another good target for Relum. <laughs> Re -relum. Uh, what Cider does is at the end of the level that it boosted, uh, if your Vanguard has Minerva in its name, you can put this back in your hand. This also gets an extra 5k shield if you have a grade three card Regalia in its name uh, in your soul. So 10k shield, which is nice. And also because you have to discard a Genesis card from your hand for the cost of Minerva, this makes a good booster, which you can bounce back and then discard. And then we got one copy of Melissa, just one extra one because, you know, we just need the space for the other grade ones. Well, so this is still a, a really good card to put back into your soul and get off that effect for being able to call it for free. So what Melissa does is when you soul blast it, if you have Anger or Minerva in its name, you can call it to the back row. And if you do, you soul charge one. So instead of paying a counter blast, like with Chamomile, you can just call Melissa to the back row for free. Then, Three copies of our PGs because we are going to be running our one Elementaria. So that's, you know, got the three PGs, one Elementaria. Triggers are really, really simple. We got four Blade Feather Dragon because crits with skills are good. Then we got uh, four Vanillas. I got the Witch one because it fit the theme. And then we got our three draws, which is Proby. Uh, I like draw triggers in this deck as opposed to fronts because um, drawing in the cards you need for specific like targets and multi-attacking, yada, yada, yada. Um, still having a really good hand is really helpful in this deck, so I do like the draw triggers. Then we run the four copies of Palpitation Angel or just our vanilla heals. Uh, you can run the skill heals if you want, but for now I'm just running the vanillas. And then I got our one copy, uh, Ito Sparrow. Just because it's basically a ninth crit, what it does is for its additional OT effect, is you can give a unit a crit uh, and then pick a card from your drop zone and add it to your hand. So you can pick a Genesis card, add it to your hand, and then that feeds into your cost for Minerva. But also being able to get an over trigger, uh, give 100, 100 million to Minerva plus a crit and then restand it, swing again, is also really cool. So uh, I think this is definitely the go-to over trigger for this deck. And uh, lastly, we're gonna get into our order cards, even though there's only the one. Our last card is Elementaria Sanctitude, which is basically our fourth PG. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching the deck profile. Uh, we have some games of this deck up already. Uh, be sure to check that out. And that's pretty much it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.